Solving derivatives in AP Calculus can be very difficult, but what happens if you're asked to take a derivative of an integral in the same problem? In this problem, you could actually take the integral of this problem and then derive it to get the final answer, but there's a shortcut. And we use what we call the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus Part 2 to solve this problem. And simply all it is saying is that we can do a direct substitution of the variable up top. We're going to replace this x squared up top here with our t. Now, we're going to simply get the square root of x squared. And when we do this, this is not going to be the end of our problem because now we're going to simply multiply by the derivative of x squared. Now, if you've taken AP Calculus before, you know that this is called a chain rule when we multiply by the derivative of an inside function. And we're simply going to get times 2x. Now, at this point, we're not done because we can do a bit of simplification. We know the square root of x squared is just going to be x times 2x, and x times 2x would simply become 2x squared. Now, this is the derivative of our integral in this exact problem. If you don't believe me, integrate this problem first and then derive it, and I promise you'll get the same answer. Follow me for more AP Calculus content like this.